What's up guys, this is R13 and welcome to another Gumpla unboxing, but before moving forward with this classic unboxing here, um, I want to apologize for not being able to upload uh, regularly. I have been very busy and the reason being is in the description below. So I'm gonna keep this video as short as possible and you guys will know why I disappeared from YouTube for a little bit. But now I'm back. Okay, now let's move forward to the actual kit itself here. So this unit is actually uh, released back in 1993 with a price tag of 1000 yen. I actually managed to acquire this unit here through my local uh, hobby shop, Comics Hobby, in the Kingsway area. So I'm actually kind of glad that I managed to uh, get a hold of one here. Um, this was actually not in the list of kits. I actually didn't even knew this unit actually existed till I actually found it. Yeah. And uh, I'm actually kind of glad that I managed to pick this up. So um, now for the history of this unit here, this unit is actually the space version, the upgraded version of the LM111E02 Gun Easy. So this unit's designation is LM111E03 Gun Easy Space Assault Type or Gun Blast Door. Now. There's another name for it, which is Gun Blaster. So I actually tried to look for this, and um, it's the name itself. So I'm actually going to leave the link and uh, for Gundam Wikia for Gun Blaster, so you guys can check out some of his uh, its history. But uh, specifically, this unit is actually uh, the upgraded version of the Gun Easy for, uh, for space specifically. Now this unit is actually kind of nice. I've actually watched a couple of episodes of V Gundam, and I'm really glad that I managed to get a hold of uh, this unit here. Now for the box art itself, as you guys can see, um, this unit actually shows you the specifications already in the box here, which is actually quite nice. And this unit actually got the uh, Vulcan gun times two, one beam saver, a beam shield beam rifle and beam bazooka which is actually quite nice now for the side of the box here as you guys can see this is the built unit already and here are some of the information which is actually really really nice now here is the other side of the box just in case you guys are wondering it's the same also for the other side And here's the other side here. Okay, now for the scale here. Um, yeah, I actually, oh wait, it is the 1100 scale. There we go. I was actually kind of looking for that at the same time. So this is a 1100 scale kit here that looks like a high grade box. So why don't we go ahead and check out the contents here okay so as you guys can see we got one two three packages and the manual here now while uh, we can focus on the manual first as you guys can see it's actually a really nice artwork very different than your typical new uh, manuals and um, it's actually quite nice. This will be a fast build. Now remember, this unit is actually made in 1993. So there will be issues there compared to the latest model. So if you manage to get the one of this, expect that it will not be perfect. That there will be some work uh, that you will actually have to put in. But overall, it's all going to be worth it. As you guys can see here. Okay, so why don't we go ahead and check the um, sprues here, shall we? Okay, we're going to start off with frame A here. As you guys can see, there's actually color patterns here. There's actually some good details, and I'm just going to see if I can bring in more light here. And there's the feet there. It's going to be, uh, we're just going to be combining the two together. There will be seam lines. Now for an old kit, it's actually not that bad. Really nice. 
Okay, so this is uh, frame A. Here's the back. Okay. Up next is frame B here. Now this one here is, I'm actually not too happy with the color itself uh, due to the fact that uh, it's uh, very light. Looks like a light green. Correct me if I'm wrong. It's a little bit dark in my room here and uh, one light is not enough. Really not the fan of this color here. And it's actually a very basic design here as you guys can see. Okay. Not bad. Still not bad. Okay. Now up next is uh, frame C here. Okay, as you guys can see, here are the leg area, the waist part of the headpiece here. Really nice. Now here is the a ball joint for the waist, so limited the uh, articulation already. But there's a potential for scribing here. So if you guys can get the cheap one, a reprint of this, and the one that I got here is definitely a reprint. Um, this is a good practice kit in my opinion. Okay, now up next is uh, the clear parts here. Frame E. Okay, so overall design are practically the same as uh, some of the units that I've uh, reviewed, the classic units like the Big Nagina and Big Nazira. No, Big Nazira mainly. <laughs> okay, you get your beam saver here, and as you guys can see, there's some imperfection in the beam saver itself, um, some bubbles inside. Yeah, but still not that bad. It actually gives that unique quality. Okay. Now, the last one, and the last two actually. Uh, the second last is the polycaps here. They're very different. Okay. And now, last but not the least, is uh, the stickers. <laughs> very little stickers. Now, one thing I do like about my, uh, my unit here are the lack of stickers. Really nice. Really nice. Okay, so there you have it guys, the unboxing of the Gun Blaster or the Gun Blaster. And I, again, check the, this, the link in the description below uh, for its, uh, this unit's history here. And um, the other videos and why I disappeared for a bit here. This will actually be a very, very fast build and I'm looking forward to it. Okay. So this is all the time that I got guys. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to click that like button and that subscribe button whenever you guys get the chance if you guys like my video. Okay, this is R13. Have a good day, good night, afternoon, wherever you are. R13 signing out.